It is 9.08 here on your Thursday. It is time to see what's trending with a twist. So this morning we are getting our local and national entertainment stories from a special guest. That's right. Let's say good morning to Josie Cothran, radio host at Greensboro's 107.5 KZL. Josie, great to see you. Good morning. Good morning, guys. You staying warm? We Try are trying to. <laughs> Thankfully, we have some heat inside. I yeah. hope you do, too. We know you're starting out with something yeah. nationally that's trending. We're talking about Britney Spears, but not about her memoir this time, right? Right. I mean, you can't blink without <laughs> seeing something about Britney Spears these days. Um, almost bigger than the Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift news. But <laughs> Britney Spears, with her memoir, um, Grew up in Kentwood, Louisiana, as most of us know, uh, before she made it big in Disney and then as the Britney Spears uh, we all know and love from the 2000s. Uh, the home that she lived in is up for sale, but that's not the big news. This home was sold by Britney's dad just two years ago for $289,000. The seller just listed it. No updates. $1.2 oh million. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Now, you would think maybe there's, you know, some gold covered Britney Spears artifacts <laughs> inside that would make it cost that. No, it's that they didn't touch anything. They've left mm. it completely as is. So there's Britney Spears bedroom she grew up in where she scribbled. Uh, Jesus loves me. Love Britney. Um, there's also just little pieces of Britney's life throughout this home. And so the seller, although they're not saying they're just saying they're ready for a move timed it perfectly with her memoir, I believe. Oh. That was strategy. And you know what? I'm sure somebody will. I'm surprised it just sold it. for so much less. I know. Even even two years ago. Right. With all of well, that. I'm surprised they left everything there, too. Right. It's got her dance studio she grew up practicing in. Um, it's three bedroom, three bath. It's not small, although it was positioned on, you know, TMZ as being kind of a, a smaller house. It's 23,000 square feet. So oh. it's not like a tiny little hut. I mean, yeah. it's a pretty decent sized home, but huh. 1.2 million to live in Kentwood, Louisiana, if you're interested. Uh -huh. All right. I will start <laughs> saving my money, I guess. Well, back here in the triad, um, maybe a more affordable place and also some fun things going on. There's a popular market that's returning. Can you tell us more about that? The holiday market is back. Tis the season. Halloween's over. It is time to start Christmas everything, which I know a lot of people are already decorating the holiday market at the Greensboro Coliseum Special Events Center this weekend uh tomorrow friday saturday and sunday if you have never been to the holiday market it gets you in the spirit santa's there there are tons of crafts there is a sale the, the 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 drink which gets you in the mood there's food there's candles there's just anything you can think of to get your holiday shopping started and it's just a really fun event um super chill vibe if you want to go uh you know after church on sunday or after work on friday um, bring the whole family. Uh, I've even seen people try to get strollers through there as they get their <laughs> holiday shopping done. It is kid friendly with Santa there, so um, a fun event this weekend. Well, I don't know if you heard us earlier, Josie, but we are just, um, we're not sure if how we feel about this <laughs> early start to the Christmas season. And of course, our next story is also about Christmas because we hear there's a jingle brew, which I'm assuming is something Christmassy. <laughs> now, yes, it is, but it's also sounding like a ton of fun for adults. It's an adult event going on at the Greensboro Science Center. You don't hear a lot of those. Uh, this is a few days after my birthday, so I've already said, this is how I want to celebrate. Nice. The Greensboro Science Center, yes, yeah, the Greensboro Science Center selling tickets to Jingle Brew on the 17th. That's a Friday night. Uh, they're going to have several breweries out there, like Little Brother, South End. You pay for your ticket. That gets you into the Science Center. You get to walk around their winter wonder lights, if you've never seen that. The whole outside is decorated. And you get to have some brews, some jingle brews, from local breweries to sip while you walk around and check out the Science Center after dark. And I feel like this is a relevant question. Is it November 17th or December 17th? <laughs> Oh, November 17th. We don't wait till December okay. 17th. No, of course Christmas. not. Come on. <laughs> Come on. No, we're starting now. You know, I have a firm rule in my house that we don't decorate for Christmas until after Thanksgiving. Right. And insane. that drives by, drives my family insane. So we try to do some of these events for Christmas. Oh, to okay. Fair. Happy. Celebrate out of the house and then it's kind of like, yeah, it's a rule breaker, but not really. But when do you start playing Christmas exactly. music on the radio? As a radio host. Oh my gosh, no. I am so against it until December 1st at the earliest. Yeah. But I think it may have it may have already started in some places. <laughs> I, I can't. 
I can't. Agreed. Not on hers. Agree, All right, Josie. Josie. Happy Thank early you. birthday, by the way. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm turning 22 again. Amazing. Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> what a fun age. Hopefully we'll see you before your birthday. Take care, Josie. And thanks, as always, for keeping us in the know. We'll have this segment posted on triadcw.com, too, in case you missed anything.